Hello friends, now we will see problem 1, sub question 7, based on theorem 1, theorem 2, theorem 3 of chapter sequence and series. The sub question 7 is, if S1, S2, S3 are the sum of first n natural numbers, their squares and their cubes respectively, then we have to show that 9 into s2 the whole square is equal to s3 in bracket 1 plus 8 s1. Now let's see the solution. First of all we write s1 that given as the sum of first n natural numbers. It means s1 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n that in short we write it as summation r i takes value 1 to n and that equal to by using theorem 1 we write n into n plus 1 upon 2 Similarly, S2 is equal to sum of square of first n natural number. Therefore, S2 is equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus going on up to plus n square. That equal to in summation notation we write summation r square i take value 1 to n and that equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole thing divided by 6. On the same line s3 that gives the sum of cube of first n natural number. It means s3 is equal to 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube going on plus n cube and that equal to in sigma notation we write summation r cube r takes value 1 to n and that equal to n square second bracket n plus 1 the whole square divided by 4. So in this way we get a result for S1, S2 and S3. Now we start from a right hand side. So right hand side is equal to S3 in bracket 1 plus 8 into S1 that equal to for S3 we substitute n square next bracket n plus 1 the whole square divided by 4 then in bracket 1 plus 8 into S1 for S1 we write n plus 1 upon 2 now in bracket we go for cross multiply so that gives 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are 8. So the next step will be is equal to n square in bracket n plus 1 the whole square totally divide by 4. So inside the bracket we left with 1 plus. Now 4n we have to multiply to the bracket n plus 1. So that gives 4n into n, 4n square and then 4n into 1. So we get 4n. So that n square, n plus 1 whole square. Now 4n square plus 4n plus 1. This is also complete square of 2n plus 1 the whole square and whole thing divided by 4. 
so from these terms we take square common so we have n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole thing divided by 2 the whole bracket square now to get h2 that is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6 so in the denominator we have to multiply by 3 so the next step will be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 2 into 3 the whole square so it means in the denominator actually we take 3 the whole square that is a 9 so that's why here we have to multiply by also the whole term by 9 and that equal to 9 into n n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 2 3 is a 6 the whole bracket square and that gives 9 into now n n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 so by using theorem 2 we write h2 so that gives h2 the whole square so finally we get is equal to 9 into h2 the whole square and this is nothing but our left hand side so in this way we prove left hand side is equal to right hand side and therefore 9 into h2 the whole square is equal to s3 in bracket 1 plus 8 s1 so this is a required solution of the given problem thank you